everybody, Dr. Ellis here. In this short video, we're going to talk about the major types of cells that are found in bone tissue, and we're going to also talk about how active or not active they usually are. When we talk about bone tissue, there are four main kinds of cells for you to be familiar with. So let's start with these cells here toward the middle. These cells are called osteogenic cells. When we think about osteogenic cells, these are bone stem cells, meaning that with the right kinds of chemical signals, they will transition into becoming what's called an osteoblast. Now, osteoblasts are my bone builders. That's what this part blast means, a builder. Osteoblasts spit out collagen proteins that gives our bones their tensile strength, and they also spit out proteins that can grab calcium out of your bloodstream. So the way that a bone builder helps to build new bones is essentially laying down that rebar that we talked about that's going to call over extra calcium to lay it down. Notice with my osteogenic cells that I find them on the outside of my bone in that thing called the periosteum and I find them in the middle of my bone in that thing called the end osteum. This is how I did appositional growth, how I made my bones get wider by making new osteoblasts on the inside to build that bone tissue. When osteoblasts are really, really good at doing their job, they end up completely surrounded by collagen and calcium. At that point, they're going to become an osteocyte I like to think of osteocytes as retired bone cells. Because there's no more space around them, they're completely surrounded by calcium and collagen. At that point, they're really their only job is to make sure that all of the space around their lacuna, around their little home, has stable, functional calcium and collagen. So an osteoblast builds a whole bunch of bone tissue, so much bone tissue that it ends up completely surrounded in bone tissue and at that point it'll become an osteocyte. Osteocytes are the last in the progression of, of this growth. So we started with a stem cell that turned into a builder cell that became a retired cell. There's one other type of bone cell that's really important but it doesn't come from this same lineage of cells and that kind of cell is called an osteoclast. An osteoclast is a bone breaker cell. That's what clast means, we're a breaker. So my osteoclast cells are my cells that break down bone tissue. The way they do that is they spit out chemicals that literally dissolves it. So that calcium that was bound to my proteins goes back into the bloodstream. Or that collagen that was inside the tissue, we break it up into little amino acids and send it back into the bone tissue. Notice that my bone breaking cells live only in this internal part in the end osteum. Because remember, this is how I did appositional growth. Break down bone tissue in the middle, allowing me to continue to expand toward the outside with my bone builders. When we talk about osteoclasts, my bone breaker cells, these don't actually originate from this bone tissue like we've been talking about. Notice that these are going to come from the red bone marrow. So the place that makes my immune system cells, like the macrophages, these are a type of cell that eats up pathogens in your body. They are related to, they're a sibling of my osteoclasts, if you will. My osteoblasts grow up and become osteocytes and osteoclasts, a completely different type of cell. When we're thinking about the activity of osteoblasts and osteoclasts in your body, it varies with age. So from birth to adolescence, as in the time when you're growing your bones, making them longer, making them stronger, osteoblasts are more active or they have greater activity than osteoclasts. By about typical adult age, we start to see a balance in the activity of osteoblasts and osteoclasts. So remember that my osteoblasts are my bone builders. They're going to be building new bone at about the same rate that my osteoclasts are resorbing it 
where they're breaking it down. In normal situations, a typical adult will have relatively stable bone mass. Now, as we're going to talk about later, there are some bones uh, conditions in which my osteoclasts get more active than my osteoblasts. If that occurs, I actually start to lose bone mass. And that's what's going to cause things like osteopenia or what you're more familiar with, osteoporosis.